Well, have you ever heard about the International Day of Play? Well, perhaps you should, because there's a lot of people getting in on it to have some fun. In fact, it is today, and we are lucky to be able to have Greg Ahern joining us, president and CEO of the Toy Association, who we love checking in, and especially on a day like today. Good morning, Greg. How are you? I'm great. How are you this morning? I am well. Okay, let's jump right in here. Uh, what does this mean? What is? How are you celebrating this International Day of Play? Well, the International Day of Play is uh, something that was brought together by a network of global organizations that really believe in the same cause, which is uh, to get kids out and get the benefit of play so kids all around the world can achieve their potential. And, you know, it started with the Lego Corporation. They got their foundation involved. And now the United Nations General Assembly has said that they're instituting the first ever International Day of Play, and it's on today. June the 11th. And so everyone here at the Toy Association and across the toy world is really excited about it. I know. And it seems like, too, there's a, a donation component that I want to touch on a little bit. You know, it's just one thing to sit and talk about it, but it's another thing to actually help encourage play. And that, of course, is with a lot of charities. Explain that element. Yeah. The charitable component of this is really important. And through the Toy Foundation, the charitable part of the Toy Association, is we've raised over a million dollars in in uh, toys that will be distributed to over 75,000 children across the country. And right here in Tampa, we are going to distribute toys through the Advent Health Tampa Children's Hospital. So that type of play and getting the children in needs will happen right here in Tampa. Oh, I love that. And of course, too, hearing that's going to happen at Tampa right there at a great spot there that does such great work for kids. I'm loving this. You know what, though? Like overall, before we wrap up on time, we know play really is important to children's growth and then setting the foundation for education. What can families do to bring more play perhaps into our kids' lives? And just give us a little tidbit before we wrap up. Yeah, well, we know that kids' lives are getting more hectic every day, uh, less recess time. Uh, they're uh, getting more screen time and not getting the creative, uh, imaginative play. And so the Toy Association has put together uh, a website called thegeniusofplay.org, and it's free for anybody who wants to go to thegeniusofplay.org, where we have hundreds of skills, activities, uh, things that parents and caregivers can do with kids that'll help them um, grow emotionally, um, physically, mentally, so that they can reach their potential. And that's really what the International Day of Play is all about, is giving kids the opportunity to play and through play to grow and to reach their potential. Well, good stuff, Greg. I'm so glad we were able to talk about this. I know as a parent, getting my daughter to not want to be on screen time and play more Barbie right. as I see behind you right there. Yeah, is we have them all here. <laughs> yeah. We'll check out the website at the bottom of the screen for even more resources. And again, can we say happy International Day of Play? Does that work? Yeah, it does. Happy International Day of Play. We can't wait. Summer really is the